What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today we're going to be checking out a song from BTS, but it's actually a cover. And a freaking metal cover, and I'm really genuinely stoked about this. I know I'm pretty late to the party, I've had a lot of people suggest this one to me, but just now my schedule is allowing for us to freaking do this. So in saying that, if y'all are new to my channel, please smash that sub button and let's do this together. Freaking a boom. And then hitting that little bitty play button, wow! Now we have so many Okay. Okay. Okay, I could already tell this is gonna get super heavy. Did he learn Korean just for this? It was the drummer? Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Really quick, I just gotta say, that is like what I've always really kind of needed from that song. The scream there, that was so freaking good. And also, the fact that that's the drummer singing kind of brings back some Atreyu feelings for me or something like that. Really genuinely love that. Also, this bass is playing a freaking amazing, was a five or six string bass. What? This has got... A lot of potential to be extremely heavy too. This is such a good song and such a good take. I wonder if they've done other ones since then. Oh, dang! <laughs> That type of scream is wild. Hey. Ah, the lead. His singing voice is so good! Good guy! All right, really quick, I just have to say I, two things. First of all, actually, I'm like, do you think they realized at the time of writing this how freaking awesome this song was? Because, like, huh, this song, like the source material, Fake Love Already, is such a good song. And it actually has a very similar structure to what they're doing here. And, like, doing kind of these heavier, uh, heavier chorus almost, you know what I mean? Definitely has, like, a somewhat heavier chorus for that genre that it already is. But then on top of that, like... The way that Suga rhymes in these parts and the way that in the first verse there, he's kind of like really staccato doing those things. It works perfectly. Like that's so flawless and such a metal thing actually. So like there's so many things here that they're doing that I remember from BTS doing the song. And then it's like me as a metal fan anyways. No wonder I freaking love this song so much. Just a lot of BTS stuff actually has like metal either structures or like underlying things that could work you know i don't know i'm loving that this scream is so well Man, we're going to talk about a scream soon. I am loving their guitars, by the way.
These leads are insanely good. Change up too. Damn. New Age wires, I guess. Okay. So there's a lot to unpack here and a lot to actually talk about with this song. So I want to go to maybe even this part first. Boop. Okay, so this part. This is something that I think about a lot of the times when there's like two different vocalists, like one that primarily screams and then the other that sings. But in this band, it's even like highlighted a little bit more because the singer is behind the drum set. So like here, all the times that you're hearing like clean vocals, most of the time, at least in this music video, you're really getting the screamer right here. It's just like kind of getting to kind of just, you know, freaking vibe out to the song. He's just vibing out to the song the whole time. And I think that's really cool, actually, too. It kind of probably takes a lot of pressure off of him in here. But then live, I bet you money he's doing a lot of ad libs live in this song. So, like, I think that's really interesting to me. I don't know. I don't know why I'm, like, so paying attention to that. But another thing that I've noticed here, too, is it actually highlights how much of the music in this song, Fake Love, is drastically different in two parts so the first part that we'll talk about where it's like extremely present is the guitar riff so the guitar riff right there is the main rhythmic thing that's actually happening so like obviously the vocals but then if you're thinking about musically the guitar is really the driving force in that so it's just a strumming pattern in the guitar really keeping everything on time but then as soon as we get into like these parts in here here, maybe right in here-ish, where the guitarist is just improvising. He's well, like, I don't know that he's improvising here. He probably already has made it all and like set it all. It's just kind of like JK sometimes does ad libs, but they're like practiced and he knows exactly where he's going to be at or whatever. But like here, like think about these guitar riffs as kind of like JK's ad libs. Um, oh man, that's a horrible spot for me to say that. That's really a guitar riff again, but here we go. Uh, we'll go back to here. So a lot of that was like just him riffing. And the main driving thing was actually the drum beat there is really what's keeping everything together. So the drum beat. So I think it's really cool. It actually, by covering it in this way, it shows me a different side to this song, the original source material, which I think is really interesting as well too. Also, I'm never going to be able to get the fake love with the screams, which because we're already used to the crowd chanting back fake love. Which really makes me wonder, like, are they actually fans of BTS? I don't know. And if they weren't before this cover, are they now? I'm not sure. Either way, I really genuinely love this one. And I freaking love the freeze frames, man. I'm telling you, the screamer is freaking awesome in this band, dude. I would love to check out some more stuff from them. And if they possibly have other covers of BTS, like, let's just check their stuff really quick before we do. Before we do go away from it, let's just check and see if they've got it. Um, I don't know. I don't know that they do. I think they've... Nope, I'm not seeing anything else. But if they do, you guys, please let me know. I would love to check that out. And if they've done any live performances of this song, I'd like to see that as well, too. Because I bet there's a lot of things that will end up changing in that live performance from what we just saw. Either way, guys, thank you all very much for checking this one out. And thank you all for suggesting this to me. It's so down my alley. You have no freaking idea. I love that. But if you guys have any concerns or questions or just want to 
I don't know, message me for any reason at all. All of my socials are at John Reeves Live. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to each other. And I will catch you all next time. Freaking toodles. Bye.